hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys I'm going to show you how you can reset your Apple ID password without phone number or email address so if you want to reset your password you have to enter the phone number and get the verification code there is a long process so if you don't have the phone number and you don't have the email address also and you don't want to enter any verification code while trying to reset your password then watch this video until the end because I'm going to show you how you can reset your Apple ID without any phone number or email address and without any verification code you don't have to enter any verification code to reset the password simply watch this video so let's get start the video before we start the video guys hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos simply first of all go to settings and then click on general and then simply scroll down now you have this option transfer reset iphone click on it don't worry we are not going to read the iPhone, we are, you are not going to lose any of your data or any content in your iPhone. Simply click on erase all content and settings and tap on continue. Once you click on it, you will see this prompt erase iPhone, click on it and then simply enter the passcode of your iPhone. Once you click on it, you will be asked to enter the Apple ID password. Obviously, which you don't have, simply click on this option forward password. Don't worry, you don't have to enter any verification code, any email address or phone number. By this step, it will only ask for you to enter the passcode of your iPhone. Enter the passcode. It will take a few seconds to verify and will give you the option to change the password for your Apple ID. So as you can see, without any phone number, email address, any verification code, I can change the password for my Apple ID. Now you can change the password of your Apple ID with the passcode. Now you can enter the password, password for your Apple ID, you can enter the new password, then you can click on continue and the password will be changed. So this video helps and if you need any help, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.